Hey guys, so I'm Jada from Glamorous Sisters and this is a look we came up with today guys. Um, it, it was really nice to do some colors and everything like that. I got to use my Wham Bam, of course you see that purple in there, yeah. Yes, and then I used Mystic Hour as well. I just wanted to duplicate the look I had did the other day and I really liked it so I wanted to show you guys how I did it and hopefully you guys like it. If you don't, just watch the next video that you do like. Act like you didn't see this one. Remember, keep the secret between us, okay? But keep on shining and continue watching this video to get this look. If not, it's okay. We still love you. Press that like button down below or the subscribe if you do. Boop, boop. Keep on watching. Hey, guys. So we're just jumping on in. So as you can see, I got tape so I can perfect a wing hopefully i had did it the other day so i want to show you what i did and i'm going to use different colors or maybe the same it doesn't matter i had did this really really nice look if you saw it on instagram you know exactly what i'm talking about i was so proud of myself yes so we're going to try it today um i already done primed my face and everything with my nyx born to glow i'll show you what it looks like now the born to glow uh, illuminating primer there you go almost forgot how to read and then of course my MAC studio moisturizing cream it's well used well loved uh, I did buy it as a sample if you guys already know not a sample I mean a travel size just to try it out as my sample so and then I bought this full size because hey I mean it's illuminating but I mean it did pretty well for my skin it's okay but we're just jumping on in and I use all oh, oh, by the way I also use my gimme brow sample I did tell you guys I was gonna start using my samples so yeah and this was it I last time I showed you guys the hair thing I use and so far my tips are still looking good so this was what I was really cared for about that I didn't really care for my scalp my scalp is always really good it's just my tips always mess up but anyway moving on in so put your tape on put your eyebrows on prime your face prime your eyes and then let's get to it I'll be right back I just realized I didn't prime my eyes so I'll be right back I should be back in like a few seconds so I did use painkiller from my Nikki tutorials and Too Faced palette power of makeup and I did use the Too Faced uh, eyeshadow insurance so yeah that's what I used to prime my eyes for that very long time, which seems like two seconds to you. So we're going to just move on to a transition color. And I actually am going to use, of course, you guys know my Swamp Queen palette. This ain't nothing new. And my fluffy brush. Here we go. Let me make sure, because I did clean them a few minutes before this tutorial. So just using my arm to make sure it's dry in all the right places. And I'm going to use my Dog Man as my transition color because I already had used Painkiller. So, and I know I'm going to want a dark, nice transition for the crease because I might be using browns or probably a nice purple, a blue, a green, I don't know. But I know this is a nice, I guess you could say like a burnt orange color. So it just makes any shade look very pretty. And I'm just trying to put this in the crease area. Slightly moving on up. And you guys already know how to do this part, so when you guys are done putting in this transition color, we'll be right back. Right now, I'm going to use this pretty old color called Man Cat. Almost forgot what it's called. I was about to call it Uncommon or Haunting. I don't know why. But yeah, so we're going to use Man Cat, and I'm going to use my uh, Wet n Wild, almost called the Elf. I just can't talk today. This is a more fluffier brush. It's not so put together. So I'm just going to dab this in. My man catch just a little bit. Oh, it was all off. And then I'm just going to write up where I placed that beautiful dog man color. I'm just kind of like shading in it, but very, very soft and kind of like bring it down. <laughs> Oh, bless you. I do have a special guest with me. There's my sister. She is on the sidelines. She's doing her own little makeup. You'll see her at the ending. Now, maybe when she's done doing her crease, I'll show you what she has learned. Because I showed her one side and she's doing the other. So it's pretty cool. But this is what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like swinging it. Swinging it. You hear me? Swirling it. Right here. 
Mm -hmm. And then back and forth, swiping it like a windshield wipe. And then right inside, decrease. And back. And when you're coming out, I did learn this from Nikki Tutorial. You know, just as you're moving on up, just very, very lightly, not as hard as you was going down here, but just softly and gentle. That's how you really get rid of the harsh lines without having to do so much work. What's wrong, sis? Two seconds, let me hear what's our problem, and then we're going to be right back. Okay, she just needed a different color. She wanted to say, oh, I used the wrong color. No. She just needed a color selection. So I chose her. Sippy, sippy, why not? Anyway, so do this that you did on this side, and we'll be right back. I hopefully, if you want to darken it, which I am about to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All you hear is movement in the background. Move here. If you need a makeup wipe. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So now that we defined the crease and how we want it, we're going to do this to the other side. And I do want to use Mystic Hour or Wham Bam from the Nikki Tutorials palette, but I'm not too sure. I can't really remember which color I used first. It's okay, we'll figure it out. We'll be right back. And what you came up with, close your eyes. So she used a little bit of a greenish tint, you can't really tell, but she did a good job with her, with her, the, the, what's that called? Dimension of the eye, sorry. Uh, okay, 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 okay. You try. Next time, we'll let you use a little bit of mascara and stuff like that. Right now, I just don't want my father to kill me. He'll kill me. <laughs> but if you want, take it off. I'll we'll show your dad. But I only use a little bit. I don't know. Okay. Try your best. Well, this is what I came up with, guys. While well, she's about to leave real quick, she got some things to do, like fix her hair and stuff. Yeah. Um, that's basically what that part will be like. So I just kind of like made it a little dark, made it really dark. I'm sorry, my scar will never, ever, like, Get pigment there, I don't know. I try like putting a lot there and as you can see it just like falls right into there. So anyway, we're gonna move on to the next color. I'm indecisive if I wanna use Wham Bam or Mystic Hour, but we'll be back, stay tuned. So I found this really nice goodies in my um collection. It's actually a really old goodie. So it's from Avon, it's the Smoky Eyes Quad. If you ever had it, it's the Q801. So it's like H1 is one, two, three three and four, right? Oops, backwards. Ew. One, two, three and four. And you're supposed to use the one, of course, for your highlight, the two for your inner part, and then three and four for your outer crease. So yeah. So the first one's called White Pearl, second one's Privately Pink, the third one is Moonlight, and then Steel. All right, all right. Nice. So I'm going to use the one called Steel and I'm going to place that in my crease area with this pretty little small one from Elf. Small crease brush. Wow. New. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm just going to kind of gently place it in here to soften this right here. So when I do put, because that's what I did the last time and it actually came out really nice. So, I'm bringing up a little bit, bring it on the side. Oh, this is like a really nice steel color. I already liked what it's doing to this nice little purple ombre I got going on. It's like I made a whole new color. All right, and with my fluffy brush, just gently put it all together. Oh, I really like the way that came out. Hmm. I'm just like continuing doing everything for my crease and not really going on to the next color with the freaks. All oh, the freaks. Hmm. Mm 
I'm gonna see if that will go on my thing. I got some type of coloring going up in there. Yay, we found the color that can shade it in, shade it in. All right, so now I am going to use, I nine times out of 10 want to use that Mystic Hour. It's a really nice blue. And I really, you know, use a lot of purple in the, the oh, I left my tutorial palette all the way on the other side. I'm sorry guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so um, with my e.l.f., it's like a flatter brush, as you can see. I'm going to place the Mystic Hour. Oh, where are you? Right here, I just pop my spot. Anyway, so right here, Mystic Hour, that pretty old, nice, it's like a beautiful green. And I placed it halfway in my eyes. So we're gonna do the same thing here as I can show you. So I'm gonna place that halfway. And uh, it takes a little time to build this color a little bit, but when you do, it's a beautiful, beautiful outlook. Outlook, you hear me? Outcome. Uh, excuse my nephew and my sister out there. All that commotion, all that noise, excuse it. They're discussing change. And I don't even think that's my little sister, I think that's my niece now. Well, probably all three. Doesn't matter. Anyway, so there goes my rambling and finished. Don't worry if you don't like get it all the way down at the lash line because remember you're gonna put a nice eyeliner, so it don't matter. One second. All right, now we're going to use. Now that you have that, I'm gonna use my fluffy brush and we're going to just try not to mess up what you did but blend it all on in on the top piece of the crease okay and then now should be looking like this we're going to use my pretty oh, oh i didn't wash this brush i gotta clean it i'll be right back let me clean my favorite brush i'll be right back sorry about that guys i just had to give it a nice little brush down I'm also I'm just drying it off because I really want to use it right now, so. Uh, excuse the ugly face. Alright, anyway. So now we're going to use Wham Bam with my nice tart little brush. I love this brush. It's a pretty little brush. It's so soft. And I love Wham Bam, so. Two things that I love. Put them together. Why not? And now we're going to put that on the second half. And the reason why I put Wham Bam over here is because Uncommon is a darker purple. It's okay if you overshadow a little bit of the um, blue. It's okay. And no, it's not because I'm, I love purple. You know, it's part of the reason. But you just want to make sure it blends nicely into each other so it can transition pretty. And then it comes into that pretty dark purple that we got going on over here. All right. And of course I'm gonna add more cause that's a purple, of course. Why not have it shine bright? I should have did it the other way around. But why not be backwards? All right, so this is what it should be looking like. And then we're gonna blend it and everything like that. So that's, that's the cool part. Mm-hmm. Oh, there goes my bright light all of a sudden. Okay. I'm going to bring it on in a little bit. How come this side always makes a nice transition over here versus on the other side? I ain't gonna lie, I do like using tape. Because <laughs> all this is a 
big hot mess. All right, over here I'm gonna drag it. So I kind of want to do that over here too. So that's what we're gonna do. Drag that perfect purple color all the way out. Mm -hmm. All right, I think this is coming out nice, guys. What do you guys think? I like it so far. All right, and now with that same old nice little elf fluffy brush, we're gonna go back in with that pretty old, ooh, sorry, with that pretty old color from that Avon smoky eye. We're gonna go back in with steel. Okay, that color right there. And yeah, just so much like we could. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna put that all up there. And blend it all together to give us back that dark color over here. And as you can see, mostly it's on the tape. It's okay because I just want where that wing is going to be to be perfect. All right, I'm kind of digging this dark. Uh, it's all right. It's not too bad. I don't mind being dark every now and then. All right, guys. So now, let me just adjust this real quick. So now I'm going to use Wanted to shade in my outer part, but I'm trying to find my right brush. Like that's too big. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I just had it. Boom. Nope, that is the smudger. Here you go. All right, so I'm gonna use my angled elf brush and I'm going to use that wanted color right here, that nice black wanted color. And, oh, by the way, I didn't even get to show you guys what Wham Bam looks like. So here's Wham Bam, by the way. So that's the color I'm using. Bam. And then I'm gonna put wanted, which is this black right here. All right, so we're going to use Wanted. And I'm just going to place it right in the outer corner right here. And then put it in just very, very, very lightly. Keep it right there at the outer corner because we are going to blend it with the um, smaller crease brush so it could be more precise where we want it, okay? So just very lightly, this is exactly what I did the other day. And don't put it too far out because you know you want to leave that part lightly. I don't know, it looks better. I don't know, I don't, to me, it looks good, okay? So don't judge me. And then we're just gonna lightly place it in the crease, bring it on down, and bam. Once you do that, we're going to take, oh, oh, don't fall, don't fall. We're going to take this little brush and we're going to blend it. It's okay if you stay like where the tape is because that's where I'm staying at because I want to just keep it very precise because I don't want to lose that beautiful color we have there. And then I'm going to put it in the crease, this halfway in. And then bring it on out. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's how you achieve it to be a little bit darker instead of all gray all around. I like it. If you guys don't like it, it's okay. I just, I, I like playing with the colors. I, I think these two colors are freaking amazing together. All right, so now with my big old fluffy brush, I'm going to clean it. Just, well not clean it, just wipe it down a little bit. Sorry, you hear my baby girl, Tigress. She hears me in here. So, and I'm just gonna lightly try to make all these blend together. It does seem pretty dark. I know, guys. Okay, guys, so I just dropped my palette. But anyway, this is what you should have at the moment. 
So now I will tell you guys to put your wing on and if unless you don't want a wing and you just want to let the eyeshadow do all the work, you can take the tape off and see how pretty it came out. If not, just trust me, try a wing out with me. It's fun, it's cool. If you mess up, ooh, I'm sorry you did all that work. Cause I have a real strong feeling I'm about to mess up. So um, it's okay if you do. But I'm gonna try my first one with you. So I'm gonna use my sketch marker from the Too Faced. And yeah, so here we go. Uh, hmm, let me not. Yeah. So I'm just gonna tight line my eyelash, eyelash, my lash line. It's like a C. Ooh, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? Alright, maybe not right there for now. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the line where I like have the most darkest shadow. I don't want it to go where I have the light. And then I'm going to bring it down, just really, like, not too far down from that tip. Hmm. Okay. All right, so I'm about to take the tape off and reveal what it looks like. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. All I got to do is just darken where, like, right here, that part, and then right here. Okay guys, so you guys should try it. I'm gonna fix this all up and then do it on the other side. So hopefully it comes out good for you as well as it did for me so far. I mean, this is just, uh, like I'll say my third time doing this trick and my second time was the best. The first time was okay and this time is okay as well. But the second time, I really outdid myself. So try it out guys. Let's see how it comes out. I'll be back. Okay guys, so this is what the wing looks like. One side got messed up, so I wanted to show you. I'm gonna fix it in a bit. But right here is where I kinda like missed that little spot. So it, yeah, so we're gonna fix that, thanks to my freaking scar. But this side came out good, because the only reason I made this side thicker was because this side came out thicker. And then I used my NYX Voluptuous Mascara. If you guys already know what it looks like, this is what it looks like. Oh, excuse the extra, but there you go. It's a nice fluffy brush. Does make my eyelashes like a little bit bigger, but you can't really tell because of the big old wing. But anyway, uh, if you want, you can put your lashes on if you like. It's a it should it's a should you should do it. Uh, if I was really good and talented at it, I would have do it too. But mm, I'm not that good. So I'm gonna go put on my face. I'm gonna use my shade to light contour palette. I'm gonna use my black radiance palette too. So. As you guys can see, I love this highlight. Oh my God, it's to live for. And then um, for my blush, I'm just letting you guys know because I'm not gonna show you. I mean, I'm not gonna do it for you on camera. Um, this is going to be my blush right here. So that is, of course, does this thing really work? And I might use Gator, you know what? I totally remembered right now. I didn't put on my freaking, all right, let me clean off my brush real quick all right i'm sorry guys i'm just trying to make sure there ain't nothing on this brush that we don't want i'm going to use gator wings and i'm going to put her in my inner highlight right here 
I want to see a little glare in my eye. I saw a little sparkle. Go, Jody. Go, Jody. Okay. And that just brings this old very little thing to light. Not life, to light. Because it was so dark at one point. No, we know. No, we know. And then I'm going to use Gator Wings and hashtag Swamp Family Strong, which is that pretty old, pretty old color right next to Natural Peaches. And I'm going to place that right up here by the brow line and make that my highlight. I think Gator Wings is way too light for me, so mixing it with Swamp Family Strong kind of like just makes it so much better for me. All right, nice. And this was what it should look like, a little bit of sparkle in our lives. All right, so I'm gonna do the same to this side. And when, I'm, when we're finished, with all of this lovely highlighting, we could go do our face. All right. I'm loving this look already. All right, guys, so do your face and be right back. Okay, guys, so now we're going to place your Wet n Wild eyeliner or whichever black eyeliner you prefer in your waterline I started doing it but yeah I, I it wasn't playing so sorry <laughs> this eye is always tricky so I gotta be careful how I touch it next thing I start tearing up uh -huh. And now, see what I said? Look, 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 look. Tearing up. Tearing up. Barely even touched it. Tearing up. Oh, here we go. And now, while I wave this down a bit, where is my white and wild color icon as well, loved? I have to sharpen it, but I don't have a the, the sharpener for it at the moment. So while that dries up, I'm going to just place it right underneath where I put that purple, just halfway. And I'm gonna put it all the way, I love purple. Nice. It has a little blue shine to it anyway, so bam, thank you, ma'am. Wow, I really do love this freaking thing. It's a pretty color. All right, um, now, since I'm done putting all that pretty purple up in my eye, I just want to continue. Um, I'm going to, where is that? The same angle brush that we used the black on, there still, that I, there still should be some black in, on it. But we're just going to put a little bit of that black and a little bit of wham bam. I'm mixing them both together very, very, very lightly. As you can see, that black covers all of that. But anyway, and I'm going to just lightly put it over here to darken that area up. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna do the same to the other side. It should be enough on here. Okay. 
okay and now for the inner part we're going to use i'm going to use this small little elf brush again and i'm going to use mystic hour it was that beautiful teal color we used prior and i'm going to place that right here oh i gotta clean that up whoa 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 I, I wasn't ready. I honestly can say I was not ready for that. Okay. All right. And I'm just going to clean that big old whoops. No lie. With a freaking uh, Q-tip. So I'm going to channel. There we go. That's what I wanted. Not some. Ooh. Uh, but I still got some on the bottom it's inevitable excuse all the laughter they're watching something funny i'm guessing i'm hoping i'm playing there you are. all right so i'm gonna go fix these little inner corners right here and i'll be right back and then we'll conclude everything okay guys what do you think i love this side how about this side uh, it's all right but this side i love this side we came out with a really nice look today, guys. I love it. Hopefully, you guys did it with me and you like it. And if anything, if you messed up, it's okay. Wipe it off. Rewind where you have messed up at or wherever you want to start all over at. Do it again. It's A-OK. -okay. That's why this video is made. I messed up right over here. And I had to fix it. And it still messed up a little bit. But I didn't want to put too much because I didn't want to look kind of cracky or whatever. So that's my excuse. And I'm going to stick with it. But keep on shining, guys. Like and subscribe. The support is well needed. We love you guys, and we love the support. So leave a comment also at the bottom if you guys kind of like this look or want some more looks like this. I am playing with color. Give me other color designs you would like to see me do. Uh, yeah, so keep on shining. Love you.